Hello guys! It's been a few days since I have talked to you guys. Um, it was like, I think last weekend that I filmed. But I finished the coffee cup cards. I think I shared that in a previous video because it was last weekend that I started working on them. Well, oh wait, I could just flip the camera. I always forget I could do that. Let's see. Okay. So I finished the coffee cup cards. I got 50 going here. I had three extra of the blue of these ones. So I just listed those in my Etsy shop. So I have a set of three of those. Um, and then these are going to be going out on Tuesday because tomorrow is Martin Luther King Day. So post office is closed. So Tuesday this will go out. And it's actually perfect timing because I ran out of envelopes to include so I ordered some envelopes and those are going to arrive tomorrow on Monday so then I could include those pack them up and get it ready out to go Tuesday um I've had a headache all day guys it is now five o'clock I finally just started moving like a couple of hours ago I've been on the couch and just like laying and bumming around because I've just had such a bad headache and I took ibuprofen because it was just bad but it didn't help. Um, I took that about like one o'clock and at like three o'clock I still felt my head. So now I'm actually feeling a little bit better now five o'clock. Um, I mean, I still feel some pressure in my head. It's not completely gone, but definitely so much better than it was before. And so I was able to do some sewing on this super cute hat album that I started making. So I stitched all of the pages and I added this like cinch binding and it's so stinking cute. I just have to make like little tags and tech spots inside of it. And, um, oh, I probably should have done pockets and things ahead of time. So I guess we'll be doing a lot of angled pockets. Um, cause I should have done those pockets in advance before, um, cinch binding that together. Um, but I had like a scrap piece of sit like cinch wire So I was able to use that like just like the three little rings and that actually worked out perfectly Originally, I thought I was gonna add them on the bottom and have this flip down But I really wanted them on the side and that actually worked out really well. So I'm happy with that and earlier I had uh, biscuits that were fermenting overnight for 24 hours. So I had to bake my biscuits and Guys, I don't know what I keep doing wrong third time in a row that I've tried to bake them it did not turn out right and so I think this time I know what the problem was this time it was that just like the dough kind of dried out on the top I can't I can't just cover it with a towel I think I have to do like plastic wrap or something so that the dough doesn't dry out on top so I think I'm gonna try it again so I can bake it tomorrow since I have off tomorrow and I'll actually be able to do that Oh, so I'm going to prepare them again, but yeah, 24 hour fermentation. So fingers crossed that it works tomorrow. And tomorrow I also have an appointment with a canine nutritionist. I just want to like Hazel is completely fine. I just want to make sure that she's getting all the nutrients that she needs from the food that I am cooking her. And I signed up for like a call and she knows like the food and I gave her like the breakdown of the recipes I've been following. And I also signed up to get a recipe from her. Um, so I'm hoping um, that will be something good also. I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping she'll be able to make like slight changes to the recipes that I do have. Unless they're perfect, then no change is necessary. And then just an, like an additional recipe, maybe with like salmon or something. Because I do have salmon in the freezer um, that I've been needing to use to make something for Hazel. Like another food. But I do have to stock up on her food. So maybe tomorrow I'll be able to make like another dish or something after the call but yeah I just want to make sure that she's getting the nutrients she needs and if I need to schedule like another follow-up after she's a year old um to see if she needs anything else after that and I just want to know like how much she should be eating like I don't know this stuff um I've been giving her like maybe a cup and a half ish maybe two cups of like her dinner food but then she also has um breakfast food that I give her eggs and stuff so like she's been well fed and she always has her um her dry puppy kibble food available which she actually was starting to eat a little bit yesterday I guess she was extra hungry yesterday but she didn't eat breakfast yesterday that's so that's probably why um I gave her breakfast she just didn't want it and then I saw her later eating like her dry food and then I gave her her dinner and then she ate her dinner and then she was fine but yeah 
she must have been hungry because she, for some reason she didn't eat her breakfast yesterday and it's something that she eats regularly. Um, maybe I just mixed in too many things because I just cooked it before I made omelets for us for breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and before we went on our three mile walk because we did a nice three mile walk yesterday at the beach and it was it was so nice. It was so cold, but it was so nice to do like that walk and I, that's something I've been wanting to do and just kind of like roam around and see what 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 there is around um and that beach allows dogs during this time of the year so it was really nice and hazel got to meet some other doggies and some people and she enjoyed that and she just really enjoyed the walk and did some sand digging and it was all a lot of fun hazel found some ducky friends <laughs> did you see did you find some friends here Oh, you're not interested anymore? You want some friends in the woods instead? <laughs> this place is so beautiful. Come on, Munchkin. We have a tree to hop over. Hop. Come on. <laughs> Good girl. Hazel, you're gonna oh you're gonna get wet. Come here. <laughs> you like digging. Holy moly, it is cold out there. Oh, I just took Hazel out because she hasn't been out all day except for the morning because she's been sleeping with me. We were sleeping on the couch and in bed and oh, just because my headache and she's been really good. Like she hasn't needed to go outside, hasn't rang the bell or anything. So oh, I just took her out. Oh, she still didn't poop yet though. So I don't know what's going on, but she had a large breakfast this morning. Um, but wow, it's it's cold out there. Holy moly, and just, it's it's like cold, but then so super duper windy, so it's just even colder. And I think she's hungry because she just went over to her food, so I'm going to heat up some more food for her. Oh, okay, oh, let me go do that and take off my jacket, but I'm trying to warm up at the same time. I'm excited to see what the uh, canine nutritionist is going to say. I just kind of want some guidance to make sure I'm giving Hazel everything that she needs because I want to continue to cook for her. I just want to make sure that she's getting everything you know she's my fur baby so i just want to make sure i'm not missing any nutrients that she might need or anything i mean she has grown a lot so i must be doing something right in that department but i just want to make sure there's like no long-term effects if she is missing any nutrients so i'll get that taken care of uh tomorrow oh my god it's so cold not a, i don't know what i'm having for um for dinner but guys let me show you guys my biscuits because i have to make these again but yeah they, they did not turn out good so they turned out very uh bumpy <laughs> all my other biscuits have been like nice and smooth and these are just so bumpy i don't know maybe let's, let's try it but okay they're not bad but I don't like the bumpiness. No, that's just gonna like hurt my mouth as I'm trying to eat these in the morning, but they're not bad though. But I am gonna try to make them again. It's mainly just sourdough and I fed my sourdough last night. So I have tons of sourdough, um, like starter and what else? Um, flour milk i could make some more okay hazel's eating her dinner she's got some chicken over there with a scoop of cottage cheese on top she absolutely loves cottage cheese guys add cottage cheese on top of anything and she's like eating it all up okay guys right now i'm preparing a little bit of everything um i'm trying to prepare the biscuits but i also want to make um pretzels again i've been wanting some pretzels for some reason so, I mean, I could always freeze those also, but um, pretzels I'm going to do in the 
KitchenAid first, and then the biscuits will go in the KitchenAid after, but the pretzels take a little bit, I think, I mean, it's a little bit easier because I could just throw it all in the KitchenAid, whereas this needs some food processor action, so I gotta do that first. Because it's just cold butter and flour that needs to get like chopped up together. I also have to order more of these like one cup measuring cups because I want to throw some in with my rice. Um, I have them in all my flowers and I also want some in my rice. So, all right, that looks crumbly. I got some hot water here. That's for this is for the pretzels now. And let's see, I got sugar in there, I got butter in there, and then hot water. And that's supposed to melt the butter. I'm gonna have that mix here. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my butter fell out. All right, don't fall out again, please. I have the cover on and the butter still fell out. Oh my gosh. For some reason, guys, with my new KitchenAid, I feel like this is so much more powerful than the one that I had before because on a low setting, things are going flying. Okay, guys, got it mixed together. Now I need my starter. Okay, I need like half a cup, one and a half cups. So here we'll do the one cup. And then we have to mix in about three to four cups of flour. I think I normally go for the full four cups, but we'll see. I'm gonna put my dough hook on here because it needs to knead until it's all combined, I think. Um, until Knead the flour until you have a firm ball of dough. This needs a refill. I do have more, always have more. <laughs> Cause you never know when you're gonna run out. Four cups of flour. Okay, now that we're covered in flour, all is good here, all is good guys. Okay, put this cover back on so we don't get as much flour everywhere. I really feel like they should make that cover better. Like it should go around the whole thing to be honest. And the back shouldn't be open the way that it is, but. I've had my KitchenAid for 10 years and that cover for 10 years and they've never changed it. So they're probably not going to start changing it now. All right. So that is kneading and doing its thing right in there. And then I got to do my biscuits after. Okay. Looks like we got a nice ball of dough here. All right. Here's my dough. Put it into a bowl, plop it in there. And my pretzels are just gonna chill on the counter for two-ish um, hours. And then in two hours, I'll be able to shape them and cook them and bake them and whatever. I feel like I might start covering everything with um, plastic wrap instead of towels. I don't know. My bread is usually fine covered in towels, but um, the biscuits got me worried now because those got really hard on top so I just want to make sure that whatever it's like staying warm but not drying out so all right we got my sourdough pretzels fermenting in there I got my mixture here for my biscuits getting use out of this thing already guys this is the new one that I've been using so obviously because the other one I'm not allowed to use anymore and I don't even know what to do with the other one like it works you just don't want to like I guess be needing anything for 10 minutes or more but otherwise it it like works okay so I'm gonna throw this in here this is the flour and the butter flour everywhere I really know how to make a good mess guys Oh, Alexa, set pretzel timer for two hours. Pretzel timer, two hours. Okay. Starting now. Next up, I need one cup of sourdough in here, and then I need one tablespoon of um, mm -hmm. honey. Half a cup of milk. Oh, 
mix that in there, and then I think that is ready. And then that has to do its thing for 24 hours. All right, so I'm gonna put these in this bowl. I have stainless steel bowls, as you guys just saw. I used um, for the the pretzels and the what I was saying. Uh, the saran wrap sticks great to those, but to these that come with the KitchenAid, for some reason it doesn't stick to them. I don't know why. It just doesn't. And in case you guys are gonna try this, don't worry about the milk fermenting for 24 hours. I have never had a problem. I've used both oat milk, I've used whole milk, I've used like the raw milk. I've used it all and I've never had like a problem of it being like sour or anything. So it really just ends up being fine. Um, hold on, so righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this is right because KitchenAid is opposite. When you take this off, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this in here. Perfect. Okay, so now my biscuits are gonna do its thing for another 24 hours again. Hopefully, that was the issue for the past three times and nothing else. Because I don't know what else I've been doing wrong otherwise, to be honest. I have no clue. I've been following the same recipe the whole time. If you guys could see my KitchenAid right now, you would see that that thing needs a deep cleaning after that butter. That butter is everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I have a little bit of flour left in here. I also have another pack. Um, but see how much this one fills in. Interestingly, Costco used to sell this big version of the King Arthur all-purpose flour. Now they only sell the King Arthur all um, the King Arthur bread flour. So I had to start getting a different flour. So my next one after this one is the other Costco one that they have um, for their all-purpose like unbleached flour. Butter grease everywhere. It's not cute. I finished that hat album, guys. Um, and I'm gonna film a video on it, I think, tomorrow. But my pretzel dough, look how much it grew. It is ready. Um, so I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna make our pretzel. So I gotta shape them and everything. Um, I'm supposed to cut them into 16 equal pieces. This does make a lot of pretzels. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust.
Okay guys, the dishwasher is on. Finish that. Those dishes have some up here drying. Um, my pretzels are in the oven. There's about four minutes left and I got three minutes until my show starts. So I'm on time. I'm gonna go sit down and get my show ready. And then when um, the timer beeps, I'll just take them out of the oven and it'll be all good. So I'm excited um, to have some pretzels but we also have ice cream in the fridge i'm probably not even gonna have pretzels today maybe like a snack bite maybe later i don't know after the after the show maybe but during the show i'm gonna watch i'm gonna have some ice cream because babe got carvel the other day and we just <laughs> i don't know we didn't eat it so it's been in the freezer so we're gonna enjoy our carvel sundays <laughs> sorry guys ow please don't bite my feet she loves biting feet as you're walking um so the new show on Hallmark is called On the Way Home, or, or Just the Way Home, and it's a new series, and I'm excited. Why are you humping me right now? Why is she so excited? <laughs> All right, guys. All right, the show is starting. I'll talk to you later. Bye.